Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your full moon reading for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Gemini. Gemini, please keep in mind that this is your general reading for this full moon. It was on 16th of April and this time it was in the sign Libra and yesterday I have shown that how you people have to recharge the money spell jar. I hope you remember I made two jars in front of you last uh, you know the last full new moon I wanted to show that how you make this new uh, how you make this money abundance spell jar for yourself and yesterday in the video I have shown that how you have to recharge these you know spell jars and also I have uh, shown you how you can make your own candle meditation and how you can meditate with candle whenever you have full moon and whenever you have the new moon every time to bring money to bring abundance to bring fast money into your life do check out both the videos it is really really going to help you out i have explained each and every step in those you know in those videos now let me see what messages do we have for you for full moon please keep in mind that this is your general reading for your guidance and this is valid for 30 to 40 days of time in case you need a private personal reading you know very well that my email id is mentioned below whenever you are sending an email to me please ensure we are in a different time zone mention your complete name your country and your time zone and all the private readings and healings for love relationship money career finances are paid processes so please connect with me accordingly i really appreciate your understanding let us see what cards do we have for you today what cards do we have for you today okay messages for my dear gemini i'm waiting for a flyer okay i've got two nothing is yet set in stone the answers you need are coming and you have your commitment is being tested okay let me see what tarot messages do we have for you what tarot messages do we have for you what tarot messages do we have for you for my dear Gemini for this full moon till next full moon what do we need to know for them I'm going for one last shuffle okay we have lovers which is mirroring mutable moon for full moon in Gemini I have king of cups for first quarter moon I have the queen of cups so you have king and cup in your reading there is a presence of water signs cancer scorpio pisces you might have male or female somebody in your life in another 30 to 40 days having good great positive influence in your life and expect a promotion expect a higher grade something you will be given to manage something which you will be given to overlook supervise it's going to be good for you and it's going to be uh, you know you will be encouraged and you will be motivated to do even better now in your moonology card if you are right now on, on the spot currently just in a matter of time if you feel that you're going to get the result straight the, the moment you're thinking about anything then you need little more time you need to do little what i am sensing from your reading you need a final push you need that final hard work that extra hours time energy to get what you need if you have any target any specific goal in your mind if you're looking for a specific job or a specific kind of uh, you know achievement related to your professional or personal life please know that you need to work little harder than what you're doing right now to make things rolling to make things move forward quickly and the full moon here says whatever answers you need or whatever result you need whatever outcome you need 
it is coming but it is going to take little time because you need to give that final push to it what i sense uh, from this reading is that you have made a nice plan the strategy is okay the strategy is also good but when you think about implementation and action i sense that there is a gap in what you have noted down on paper and what you are actually implementing or what is actually there in the action try to have a recap of what you you start how you started with what intention you started and where you have reached and what are your expectations from yourself i think when you when you resummarize all these things you are going to find and understand the gap and then you are going to put the efforts in the right direction that is really going to help you out and then the time will come that whatever kind of result you need or the outcome you need it will take a nice shape on well defined divine timing you also have a card which says your commitment is being tested and this is the card which says that not even your commitment your patience your will power your wisdom your knowledge uh, you know everything is being tested because the divine is preparing you for something bigger which i'm going to explain it here you are you are, you will be getting a much more senior position in time to come and you are being prepared for all that wisdom knowledge how to handle people how to handle situations how to handle things coming to your way what kind of maturity you are showing what kind of wisdom you are showing how you are managing the whole show that is something is being prepared right at the moment so you are actually in a in a period of preparation you are you are in the preparation time you are in the transformation time and that is why it is not just your commitment but your overall grooming overall reshaping reskilling upskilling whatever you may call it this is happening right at the moment which can make you make you comfortable or deserving for what you are going to get very soon in near future now you also have a card of lovers when you have a lover card expect that there is going to happen something in your love life for sure either you are going to meet your soulmate connection or you are going to meet multiple people if you are looking for a soulmate connection but this also means that in your career in your money finances professional life expect multiple opportunities coming to your life so lovers is actually a card which brings many choices many opportunity not just in love life or in personal life or in relationship but it brings lot many options in professional life too if you are looking forward to now i was telling you about this queen and cup earlier in the reading today also that when you have you know king and queen in your reading expect that you are very good in handling people relationship the way you cooperate with people the way you mingle with people the way you adjust modulate modify yourself you make space for everyone and you are very uh, you show empathy and you show sympathy nicely people resonate with you your thoughts the way you you carry on nicely people really connect with you nicely and this king and queen these are very two strong energies in your reading it says that yes you have a uh, male or a female but you have quality both the qualities you have feminine and masculine uh, you know uh, qualities to handle each and every situation wherever love is required affection is required uh, controlling in a loving way is required it is about that queen of cups and wherever you feel that there is king of cups you have you are a team leader and you know how to pursue things you know how to get things done out of people you know how to manage things nicely and this is something which is really really going to help you out when you have queen and king of cups in your reading it's a very nice reading today now let me see what messages do we have what messages do we have from divine door what messages do we have from divine door
what messages do we have from divine door we have a cure for longing it says love in happiness a spark inside live deliberately and choose boldly then you have arrived that's a very very strong message for you guys today and the other message oh my god this is a wonderful message which says offering and this is resonating with the card the answers you need are coming it says abundance lies in the heart that allows share more than expected and see love come around that's a wonderful offering for you from the nature and let me see what last card or what last message do we have for you today on this full moon my dear gemini let me see and you have the sacred the sacred lotus it says compassion in action the chosen tool i see now the lotus in your spirit's jewel this is talking about the much needed action which is required from your side which is going to help you to make whatever goal or intention successful this is a note again that you have to rework on your plan you have to rework on your action plan you have to really be compassionate and passionate about what are what do you want to really achieve certain modulation in your working style certain modulation to be realistic with your goals and targets is something which is really really going to help you out so dear gemini that was your detailed reading for this full moon do let me know how you resonated with the reading and i will see you next time very soon be blessed and do watch the videos which is related to money spell jar and candle meditation it is really going to bring the required abundance in your life be blessed